Awareness, Wikipedia article audio. Awareness is the ability to directly know and perceive, to feel, or to be cognizant of events. More broadly, it is the state of being conscious of something. Awareness is a relative concept. Awareness may be focused on an internal state, such as a visceral feeling, or on external events by way of sensory perception. Insects do not have consciousness in the usual sense because they lack the brain capacity for thought and understanding. Concept Self-awareness Popular ideas about consciousness suggest the phenomenon describes a condition of being aware of oneself. Efforts to describe consciousness in neurological terms have focused on describing networks in the brain that develop awareness of the qualia developed by other networks. Neural systems that regulate attention serve to attenuate awareness among complex animals whose central and peripheral nervous system provides more information than cognitive areas of the brain can assimilate. Within an attenuated system of awareness, a mind might be aware of much more than is being contemplated in a focused extended consciousness. Basic awareness of one's internal and external world depends on the brain stem. Bjorn Merker, an independent neuroscientist in Stockholm, Sweden, argues that the brain stem supports an elementary form of conscious thought in infants with hydranencephaly. Higher forms of awareness including self-awareness require cortical contributions, but primary consciousness or basic awareness as an ability to integrate sensations from the environment with one's immediate goals and feelings in order to guide behavior, springs from the brainstem which human beings share with most of the vertebrates. Psychologist Carol Izzard emphasizes that this form of primary consciousness consists of the capacity to generate emotions and awareness of one's surroundings, but not an ability to talk about what one has experienced. In the same way, people can become conscious of a feeling that they can't label or describe, a phenomenon that's especially common in pre-verbal infants. Due to this discovery medical definitions of brain death as a lack of cortical activity face a serious challenge. Down the brain stem lie interconnected regions that regulate the direction of eye gaze and organize decisions about what to do next, such as reaching for a piece of food or pursuing a potential mate. Neuroscience the ability to consciously detect an image when presented at near-threshold stimulus varies across presentations. One factor is baseline shifts due to top-down attention that modulates ongoing brain activity in sensory cortex areas that affects the neural processing of subsequent perceptual judgments. Such top-down biasing can occur through two distinct processes an attention-driven baseline shift in the alpha waves, and a decision bias reflected in gamma waves. Outside of neuroscience biologists, Umberto Maturana and Francisco Varela contributed their Santiago theory of cognition in which they wrote. Basic Awareness Living systems are cognitive systems, and living as a process is a process of cognition. This statement is valid for all organisms, with or without a nervous system. This theory contributes a perspective that cognition is a process present at organic levels that we don't usually consider to be aware. Given the possible relationship between awareness and cognition, and consciousness, this theory contributes an interesting perspective in the philosophical and scientific dialogue of awareness and living systems theory. In cooperative settings, awareness is a term used to denote knowledge created through the interaction of an agent and its environment in simple terms knowing what is going on. In this setting, awareness is meant to convey how individuals monitor and perceive the information surrounding their colleagues and the environment they are in. 
This information is incredibly useful and critical to the performance and success of collaborations. Awareness can be further defined by breaking it down into a set of characteristics. Basic Interests Different categories of awareness have been suggested based on the type of information being obtained or maintained. Changes in Awareness These categories are not mutually exclusive, as there can be significant overlap in what a particular type of awareness might be considered. Rather, these categories serve to help understand what knowledge might be conveyed by a particular type of awareness or how that knowledge might be conveyed. Workspace awareness is of particular interest to the CSCW community, due to the transition of workspaces from physical to virtual environments. Living Systems View while the type of awareness above refers to knowledge a person might need in a particular situation, context awareness and location awareness refer to information a computer system might need in a particular situation. These concepts of large importance especially for AAA applications. The term of location awareness still is gaining momentum with the growth of ubiquitous computing. First defined by networked work positions, it has been extended to mobile phones and other mobile communicable entities. The term covers a common interest in whereabouts of remote entities, especially individuals, and their cohesion in operation. The term of context awareness is a superset including the concept of location awareness. It extends the awareness to context features of an operational target as well as to the context of an operational area. Communications and Information Systems Covered awareness is the knowledge of something without knowing it. Some patients with specific brain damage are for example unable to tell if a pencil is horizontal or vertical. They are however able to grab the pencil using the correct orientation of the hand and wrist. This condition implies that some of the knowledge the mind possesses is delivered through alternate channels than conscious intent. Awareness forms a basic concept of the theory and practice of Gestalt therapy. In general, awareness may also refer to public or common knowledge or understanding about a social, scientific, or political issue and hence many movements try to foster awareness of a given subject, that is, raising awareness. Examples include AIDS awareness and multicultural awareness. Awareness may refer to anesthesia awareness. Covered awareness. Other uses. It is knowledge about the state of some environment, environments are continually changing, Therefore awareness knowledge must be constantly maintained, individuals interact with the environment, and maintenance of awareness is accomplished through this interaction, it is generally part of some other activity generally making it a secondary goal to the primary goal of the activity. Informal awareness is the sense of who's around and what are they up to. E.g. Information you might know from being collocated with an individual, social awareness is the information you maintain about a social or conversational context. This is a subtle awareness maintained through nonverbal cues, such as eye contact, facial express, etc. Group structural awareness is the knowledge of others' roles, responsibilities, status in a group. It is an understanding of group dynamics and the relationship another individual has to the group. Workspace awareness This is a focus on the workspace's influence and mediation of awareness information, particularly the location, activity, and changes of elements within the workspace. <laughs>